Hi everyone, Mr. Morgan Lewis here at the school. In this video, we're going to talk about core strength, or more so about how to strengthen our back and keep it strong. Now, in martial arts, we use our core for an awful lot of things, um, anywhere from our techniques to our pattern movements, and also at times when we're doing jumping kicks and also inspiring and so on and such forth. And we practice or we train our core as much as we can in lessons, number one, so that if we did get hit in that area, we're more likely to be resistant to it. And also, as I mentioned before, it improves or helps to improve a lot of our movements. So core strength is really important, but not only that, you have, to, you have to think about your spinal cord and your back strength as well. To keep your posture upright, to make it so that you can perform your twisting actions and all sorts of different movements in a healthy manner without overstraining. Now, when it comes to building strength in your back, it's probably the, one of the most crucial and you must be very, very sure of what you're doing uh, uh, situations. So for instance, if you are a bodybuilder, um, when it comes to defining your back and getting the, the V shape that, uh, as such that most bodybuilders look out for, obviously there's lots of exercises for that that involve adding weight to it. However, because we're martial artists, we don't want to go putting too much pressure, or at least in my opinion, we don't want to go putting too much pressure on our back. So what we're going to go through is some exercises that you can practice alongside your core workouts, because when you do practice or train your core muscles, you should also be doing some work on your back as well. It's like the agonist and antagonist. Generally, if you, work, if you do exercises on your quads, you should be working your hamstrings. If you're doing exercises on your biceps, you should be doing it on triceps as well. So basically make sure the next time you, you practice doing sit-ups or any kind of exercise you're doing, just try to include some back exercises as well. Anyway, let's get right to it. So right here I've got a weighted bar and it's only five kilos. So it's not a massive amount and I don't recommend you go much higher than that. But again, that's my personal preference um, and I'm going to show you some of the exercises you can do. So. One of the exercises we can do with this bar is something called a good morning. Now, a good morning is about developing your strength in your, in your lower back. And to perform this exercise, what you do is you place a bar across your shoulders like this. You can do this with two dumbbells in your hands, but uh, again, try to keep it at a light weight. You don't want to be putting too much pressure on your back in this instance. One wrong false move and you could put yourself out for a long time. Okay, so just go as a guideline with lightweight. So to perform a good morning, from here what we do is we take the bar across our shoulders here and you bend from the waist, okay, and keep your legs nice and straight. So we don't want our knees caving here as such. We just keep our lower back in, we gently go down until you can feel a bite in your hamstrings. And then what you do is you push up with your upper body like this. So you need to do this quite a few times because you have a light weight, but you should feel a light pinching action in the lower back. What you mustn't do is curve your back in this way and then curve like that. You must keep your back straight. So when you're practicing, it's good to have a spotter for someone that's going to keep an eye on your posture for you. Or alternatively, if you've got a mirror nearby, you can look to see how your posture is while you're doing it. So it's legs nice and straight, bend from the waist, go parallel to the floor and up again. And try not to push with your shoulders. Just try to lift from the waist like this. All right, so it's that one. Now, keeping the legs nice and straight, that brings me to uh, something called a Romanian deadlift, or to keep it simple, a stiff leg deadlift. Now, again, this is my uh, opinion, my personal preference as to developing the uh, lower back strength, but also to some degree the hamstring strength as well. But I'm only saying use light weight. Okay, so for this one, same applies, legs straight, body straight, but you have to keep your arms locked out it's really important that you don't lift the weight, okay? Because then you're gonna be using your shoulders. It's all in the hamstrings and the lower back on this one, okay? So from here, what you do is you let the weight pull you down. Now you mustn't hunch, number one mistake straight away. You have to keep your head up, your shoulders back, and you tick from the waist and you let the weight pull you down. Now, you'll notice when you do that, your hamstrings fire up, okay? But what you then need to do from that position is stand up, but keep your lower back tight, okay and just stand up extending your hamstrings okay and you will feel this on your lower back to some extent but not a major amount which is good in a way because you don't as i said before you don't want to go overloading yourself okay so you go here 
and then you lift using your hamstring. So you notice that my shoulders and my arms are staying really still. I'm not lifting by doing this or pulling like this, okay? Just here and then back up again. Again, you can do that with dumbbells and you can do it with a light kettlebell as well. But again, just take it, take it nice and easy. And then um, we'll do one more with the bar and then I'll show you one without. Now, this next one is an upright row or bent over row. Now, to do this for the lower, but there's, there's different positions. The higher you have it generally across your, towards your chest, the more it targets the upper back. So we want to target different areas. So if you're looking to build up your lower back, then you want to have your arms lower, center of your back or upper back, obviously your arms will relate to that. So for this one, similar to the good morning, but except we push our hips backwards here. So we're, we're over like this, again, lower back straight, and you pull the weight in towards you. Now, the lower you have it, or the closer to you have it to your legs, then the more it's gonna work the lower back. If you bring it to underneath your chest, it's gonna work the middle. And if you bring it to the top of your chest, then it's more likely it's gonna work the upper back. So again, it depends on what you're looking for. But after doing a few reps like that, you can already start to feel it, okay? Now, this time, one that we tend to do in class quite a lot because it doesn't require any weight. And you should try to do it as, not as, I wouldn't say as often as possible, but again, every time you try and do a core workout, try and include at least one or two of these exercises. But this one's a good one because from here, what you do is you lay down on the ground, legs apart, arms outstretched. Now, sometimes we call these skydivers, but from here, what we do is we lift our arms and legs off the floor at once, okay? So you keep your hips on the ground, you lift your arms and your legs, so you're balancing virtually on your hips and then down. Now, you don't want to go holding this for too long, too much tension. Two, sec two or three seconds tops, okay? So you go one, two, three, down, and then you feel a pinch in the lower back. Now, obviously, the wider your arms and wider your legs, the better, and the higher you can lift them as well, the better. Now, in terms of how many to do, four sets of 20 or 25 will be good, with a small rest, obviously. So it's here, one, two, three, down. You can do it a bit faster, but don't take it too fast. So it'd be one, down, two, down. And ultimately, what you should feel is a, just a light muscular pinch in the lower back. Okay, so you've got some ideas there to add to your uh, workout routine. So anything from the good mornings to the deadlifts to the, uh, uh, the bent over rows, and of course you've got the skydivers as well. But I, I wouldn't recommend doing too many exercises just use them as a supplement as well as your core training in general, all right? And uh, make sure you warm up and you perform each movement carefully before you know going too mad, all right? Just take it nice and steady. Try to pay attention to the way I show the exercises so you can see my posture is. In terms of how often to train it, again, generally just try to do it every time you do some core, uh, strictly a core workout. As I said, when you are doing most exercises or most techniques, you are pretty much using your core in some way. But if you're doing strictly just your core work, then, then that's the best time to add your, uh, your back workout to it. Anyway, uh, like and share the video. Hopefully it's something that you can use and add to your workout routine. And uh, make sure, as I said before, you, you do it of light weight. It's really important that you don't go mad. Bodybuilding, it's different. But as a, from a martial artist point of view, Got to really look after that spine and look after your posture. And the last thing you need to be doing is overloading yourself, especially when you're trying to keep nice and flexible. Okay, as I said, like and share the video, give, leave us a comment and uh, keep an eye out for more fitness related videos in the future. But for now, take care of yourselves and happy training.